Hey everybody. Hope you're having a great quarantine. I'm Sarah Anderson. I'm going to show you some of my um, things that I do with my ceramics. I threw a bunch of these simple little shapes of mugs and I'm going to transform it into this guy right here, which will then transform into this guy right here. So I do a lot of scraffito carvings in my work, um, so I'm going to kind of go through step by step of my process and how I get there. Um, these don't have handles, but this guy's going to have a handle. So I'll do another couple of videos of how I do handles and then how I do my carvings. So stay tuned. Um, I use the Amico Velvet uh, V series under glazes. So I like these a lot. Um, you can mix them like paints and that's how you get the two-toned of the colors here. So I did a light blue dark blue, light blue, dark blue, and then dark blue on the inside. Um, I just really like all the different colors you can get uh, from these different guys. I do a lot of reds, yellows, greens, all kinds of crazy stuff. This guy's really messy, but um, it's one of the reds that I do. So what I did, I to get the lighter blue, I just have a white one of these, and I mix the blue and the white together. Um, you could do like ombre, one of my friends does ombre colors with the uh, um, amical glaze or under glazes. So there's a bunch of stuff you can do with these. So I'm going to get a generous amount of under glaze on there. I'm going to spin my fancy wheel. Mm. And I'm going to paint. So it's literally just this easy. Um, I'm going to apply the handle after this. Um, so I'm going to let all of this dry and get to the state of this guy. So I could put a handle on this if I wanted to, but I kind of like the tumbler look of that without a handle. Um, so some of them I do put handles on, sometimes I don't. Just depends. Uh, one thing to remember with these guys is if you do only one coat of it, it's going to look really streaky. It's going to have variations in the color, um, and that looks really weird. We'll do three coats of this jazz. So there's my first coat. Looks great, Sarah. Wow. Sometimes I have to hold my breath when I do it because I, I don't want to move too much. That's how I get really nice lines. If I don't move or breathe. Um, I'll just steady my other hand back here like this too sometimes. Hmm. Um, so the drier your cup the faster this is going to dry. It's going to soak into your cup faster if your cup's drier because it wants that moisture. Um, but this cup's pretty wet because I just threw it not too long ago. Or trimmed it not too long ago. So this is going to be a while before I can do multiple coats on it. So you won't have to sit through and watch all of this. But just know I'm going to do this one time but then you're gonna, I'm going to go back after this video is over and do like two more coats on everything. And then I'm going to go on the inside and paint this dark blue. And it's going to look like that. So, that's the process of my underglazing. Thanks for watching. Um, stay tuned for more videos, postings of uh, handles that I'm going to do for these guys. And then I'll go to my process of carving too. So, thanks for watching. Happy quarantine.